Welcome to another episode of Motivation Monday. My name is Tori Gann. Uh, we'll be talking today about positive attitude. It's one of the great things that, that everyone can possess today is a, is a positive attitude. Uh, it's one of my favorite things to do. Normally, I walk around with a smile on my face and, and it's just constantly pursuing what is positive. Now, however, the desire to be positive isn't a popular thing. There are a lot of people who walks around and they're upset all the time and they're usually just frustrated with whatever's going on in their life. And so they may try to project that onto you. But the, the power of just being a positive person is you just continue to look for the good. Find something good in everything that you do. Find something good about yourself. Find something good about your friends. Find something good about what you do. Just find your good thing and do that. That is kind of one of the, the biggest influences that, that you can have is one to have an influence on yourself. So as you look at the positive thing, looking at the better things, looking at something that's great, what, what the ability is, and, and then that begins to grow inside of you. That begins to make your day and begin to pick you up when you begin to be a positive person. Uh, we did a, a conference and, and the uh, actual title of it was, the theme of it was Blood Type Be Positive. And out of that, be a positive person their heart beat, their heart beat, have a heartbeat for accepting others and being kind and, and, and caring for people and, and always a willing helper. And whenever you get that person that's got that thing pumping through their blood to help be helpful, that's a positive person. You be that, you want to be that individual people can find and people can get a hold of. However, your positivity, you know, may not, everyone may not like it. I'm a morning person. I like being up in the morning. I enjoy waking up in the morning. In fact, if you don't wake up, that that's jacked up because that means you're probably dead. But I like waking up in the morning. Most people are not morning people. You're going to run into that. And so what you have to do is don't let anyone decide what your day is going to be like. You pick, you decide, you, you determine, I'm gonna have a great day no matter what. It doesn't matter what people think about me, no matter what people say about me, I'm gonna have a great day. But the, the good part about being positive is to be able to give it to others. And it's, it's a great gift, but when you give it and share it with other people, that becomes even greater. That just shows where the, the pulse of, of who you are as a person, that, that begins to grow and grow in everything that you do. So one of the stories I like telling is being at the airport. And, and every time I go to the airport, I get checked every time. Uh, and, and one guy, when I asked him, I said, why are, you, why are you checking my luggage? Why are you checking me? And the guy goes, said, it's six in the morning. No one should be this happy. And I was like, okay. So he checks it. Well, I get through my gate. I get through the gate, get into the, uh, uh, get through the uh, security and get to the gate area. As I'm sitting in the gate area, it's just smiling, minding my own business. This lady walks up to me and goes, you look crazy. And I started smiling because I had some options of what I could say back to her. And I smiled and I got up and I asked, I go, ma'am, are you on this flight? And she goes, yes. I go, ma'am, I'm on this flight. This is a two hour flight. I said, what if we're sitting together? And I started jumping up and down. I was like, I'm gonna talk to you the whole trip. I said, there's not a pair of uh, uh, noise cancellation earphones that can stop me. I'm gonna be so loud. And I was excited, security showed up. They asked me what was going on. I go, oh, I'm gonna sit next to that lady for two hours. Well, it's assigned seating. So obviously we didn't get to sit together. So but the cool part was at the end of the flight, right? We get up, she get off the flight before I did. She's waiting for me in the in the uh, in the terminal area, the jetway. And as I come down, she says, "Can I talk to you for a minute?" And I go, well, "Yeah, you can talk to me." She goes, well, first of all, I want to apologize for the way I treated you." And she goes, second, I want to thank you for not treating me the way I treated you." And I go, well, "No problem, no, no all's, all's forgiven. It's all good." She says, "I was just angry." She goes, I'd had a tough weekend. I buried some relatives. And when I walked in and saw you smiling, it made me angry. And so one or two things happened out of this and I thought was great about having a positive attitude. What happened was I didn't treat this lady the way she treated me. And that, that helped her. The other thing was I didn't allow it to affect who I was. There's a lot of times you, if you let people get to you, they'll let whatever went wrong in their life come in your life. And then you'll have these two things going on that'll be tough for you to deal with, tough for you to manage. But as you go on and you say, it doesn't matter what you're, what's happening to you, I'm still gonna maintain 
my positivity. I'm still gonna maintain the person that I am and I'm not gonna let anyone take that from me. I'm not gonna let that be stolen away from me and I'm gonna keep walking and keep being the person that I need to be. So normally I, I have this charted thing that, that I will do and, and I'll move just real quick. It won't, won't take me long out of the shot. So I'll be back in. I do this thing on, on attitude and this word for attitude is add up that it's, you look in the meaning, the word attitude, if you add it up in this numerical order, the way it lines up in the alphabet, with A representing one, Z representing 26, this word attitude equals 100. So A is the first letter, T is the 20th letter, that's 41, nine is 50, 20, 10, 10, uh, T is the 20th letter, use the 21st letter, 41, D is the fourth letter, 45, and then E is the fifth letter, that's 50, that's 100. You're 100% of what your attitude is. If you're gonna keep it 100, you may as well keep it 100 in the right direction. You may as well keep it 100 in the direction of helping, in the direction of that's gonna be encouraging to you, in the direction that's gonna have give you your best chance to have your best day. Because a bad attitude now, that also works as well, because if you're bad, your attitude's bad, that means you're 100% in the wrong direction. And I would just challenge you to change your day right now. Just begin to look at things, look at things that are better. And in this current situation with the pandemic, this situation, that if you could look, you look at the problem, if you stare at it too long, it'll start to pull you down. It'll start to make you become negative. And one of the uh, more frustrating things is when things pull us down that we cannot control and things that we cannot change. But the one thing you have a choice over is how you respond. And I want to say right now, let's begin to take that action. Let's begin to take on that shape, begin to take on that form that if I'm going to be 100% of anything, I'm going to be 100% positive. What is your math? What is your adding? What's adding up in your life? I, I like to think of it, people are like math. You have some that add, some that multiply, but you also have those that divide and subtract. Determine which one are you. Are you adding? Are you multiplying to lives? Are you multiplying to yourself? Are you dividing? Are you subtracting? I want you to be the measure that adds up, to be the measure that helps others, be the measure that increases lives and increases the, the desire to be around as you begin to be that person of a positive person. So no matter your background, it doesn't matter where you come from, it doesn't matter what you've been through, if you continue to start, if you start to look at things in a better light, in a better way, then you can change the way things are happening, the way you perceive them. You may not be able to change the outcome of things, but you can change your outlook. And that's a great way when you can start changing that outlook. I have a great friend of mine who, who, who just did something just positive. When we think about this whole positive attitude, it doesn't take much. You don't have to do a whole lot. This friend of mine woke up one day and he says, I, I just need to go tell someone hello. He didn't know who the person was. And so he went to work and he, he was trying to work and he had to leave his job. And, and as he left his job, he, he just had to find this person. Well, he drives into this apartment complex and he sees this lady working behind the desk and he goes, oh my gosh, he goes, I'm supposed to say hello to you. And she was like, okay, well, hello. He goes, no, you don't understand. I don't know you. She goes, I still don't know you. He goes, I'm supposed to say hi to you. And she goes, well, you did that. And my friend sat down because he didn't know what else to do. He just knew that's what he was supposed to do was say hello to her. And she says, well, I'm going to show you an apartment so that I can get you out of here because you're kind of creeping me out. So she showed me the apartment. She spins around. She goes, what do you think? And my friend said, well, on the outside, you have it together. But on the inside, you're falling apart. So when I say be positive, I don't mean just be fake on the outside. Find out what's going on within you. Start beginning to see what's shaping that mode and shaping that mentality. And the lady, when he made that statement, she started crying and pulled out a note that said at 5 p.m. that day, she had planned to take her own life. Well, my friend being so positive showed up in her life. It changed that lady's life forever. And I know because that lady today is my wife. So I challenge to you about being positive. My big challenge to you is I want you to go and find at least two people that have been in your life, two close friends. And I want you to share with them how much they've meant to you and how, how much they've encouraged you and how much they've uh, helped you get along the way. When you didn't have anyone to talk to, that person was there for you to talk to them. I also want you to find another person that you're not that close to and then begin to tell them how well you'd like to get to know them. 
how, how, how much you'd like to build a relationship and build a friendship with them that you guys can grow together and then agree to find a place and find a time, find an action that you can do that's going to make you smile and be committed to one another. And no matter what's going on, that you create an atmosphere of positive attitude that y'all can grow together. Until next week, we'll see you then. Bye.